All right, and we are back with our second conversation for this morning, and it's all about the Little League Tournament. Yeah. We have some organizers as well as some players. Mm -hmm. And if the Little League Tournament didn't say enough, these young guys perhaps will tell you more, or at least their presence shows why it's called a Little League. And we have in studio with us Mr. Eden Rowley, who is the coordinator of the Little League, as well as Sean Shaughnessy. Sean expensive name, by the way. <laughs> Bite me tongue and all. Shaughnessy Brisenio, who is the coach of the Belize United Football Club. We have done other than Shea Gordon, who is a student athlete, and Ethan Arias, who is also a student athlete, one for, on for the U13 and one for the U10. U10. Good well, morning. Well, gentlemen, good morning. Welcome and thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Thank How you are we doing? Much. Okay. We're, All we're right. Good. We're good. All right. So let's jump right into it. I'll go to uh, the coordinator first to uh, tell us a bit about uh, this little league tournament, uh, why it was organized, and what will take place. All right. Good morning, and thank you guys for having us here again. Um, well, the little league um, competition have been around from... 2017 when mm. we first started it and we went for a little pause for a little while and we resumed back in 2022 that's because of the COVID, COVID. that resumed mm -hmm. back 2022 and 2023 and now we're back here 2024. Mm -hmm. um, currently Future Football Club is the is the key club that hosts this little competition. Um, basically we have teams participating from various parts of the city namely Belize United that we have here mm -hmm. with Sean and these guys and um, we have you are you 10 are you 13 mm -hmm. and are you 10 of course um basically we we have um 12 teams participating wow. in this in this sales competition at the under 10 and under 13 level um i must say that when we first started the little league we started off with just four mm. wow. right with just four teams and you know we have been growing as the years go by thanks to the almighty for making it possible yeah. sponsorship have been tough but you know, we, we must still give props that we could basically still be doing it at this where, time. Where does where are these games played and how often? Um the this tournament will be played um at the MCC grounds. Um we start this upcoming Saturday right here, the sixteenth okay. of March. Oh, nice. Um we have on the calendar for this week we have approximately six games. Back to yes. back. Yes, we have a U ten Starting off, we have a U13, then we resume with a U10, a U13, and et cetera, et cetera. You know, uh, my question that I have for you uh, is why focus on children this young? You probably could nurture kids that already, you know, have been 50, invested 60, in this, uh, a 20. bit older. Why yeah. so young? Mm, that's, that's, the goal. that's the goal to me. That's, that's the way I came up. I, I was a raw material. You know, and we came up from young, up, up those age with Sir Josh Brown, you know, who was once the former Chief Justice of the mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. You know, we came up in, in that streamline with um, Brown Bombers, which had changed to Foundation Bombers. And then I instilled that, you know, that's the best way to, to go and nurture, you know, the young youths from the start growing up. So you, you were nurtured in that sense. And, For sure. and it's basically just passing on well, what my, my, my you knowledge received. and expertise so i want to jump over to one of the players first uh, before mm -hmm. we go to the coach uh gonna go over to shay now shay garden over here his name has been on tv a couple of times i don't know if you know that sabrina but shay played for plays for the belize united football club and his team was a part of the uh, Anthony Mala Mundialito. Mm. And uh, they've won a couple back-to-back -back championships. Correct, coach? Yes. And Shea, Shea is one of their star players. Shea, you're... What? And so a lot of times when we cover these games on uh, Sports Monday, you hear Shea, Shea's name ring here and there for goals. And But I've never really gotten a chance to speak with Shea about his passion for football and when it began and how is it that you realized that you love this sport and you actually wanted to take it serious? When I was around six, I started playing with my brother. And just from then on, in 2019, I started training in Belize United and I was continuing from Okay, then. you make it sound so simple. Yeah. And what, what is it that you enjoy about the sport of football? Just how the people come together and like 
we just have fun to play. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how does it feel for you when, a, when you actually get to score a goal? It feels good. Yeah. Why? Just like the happiness because you also help the team. This is to help the team. What do you think is the most important part of playing any sporting activity that requires multiple players? Teamwork. Teamwork. Mm. What does teamwork mean to you? Like when like your teammates try to help each other if you try to reach a goal. Yeah, so yeah. it's not just about one player. One player that knows Ronaldo and can't do it all. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I want to get Shaughnessy in the conversation as coach of the uh, Belize United. United Football Club. Let's talk about some of the talents that you have uh, seen over time. Uh, of course, talents just like Shay, just like our other friend over here. Let's talk about these kids that you would interact with on a daily basis. Um, these kids are pure joy. Um, they, they come from numerous neighborhoods. There's different personalities. There's different talents. There's some that lack. There's some that have. And working with either one of them just brings me joy knowing that I can teach them at their level. Mm -hmm. where, whereby if they're up, I can leave them and they'll be able to pursue, pursue that because they're already there. But if they're below, I can help them get up. To where they want to be because they see players like Shea or players like Ethan or even if they have an idol Messi or Ronaldo it's been a passion of mine to teach kids um, given the fact that they they have goals as well even if they don't know it football has been a passion of them uh, they see they they want to be and it's just a part of life of them wanting to grow and have something uh, for themselves and how important is this little league tournament uh, for you guys in the athletic agenda for the year? It is very important. It's a opening season for our U10, whereby um, the U10, they barely have any competitions throughout entire Belize. You, you rarely see any. That's so true. having this opportunity to play gives the, the kids that uh, growth that they need in, and the exposure as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's also an opening season for the Mandalito to get kids to come out. And if they want to play, they make this team or that team giving them the opportunity to branch out yeah. and you can see their talents and skills yes. on, the, on yeah. the field as well let's get ethan in the conversation ethan you play in the u10 but i want to ask you first what do you like about football passing the ball okay mm -hmm. move around do some skill move shut the ball how long have you been uh, playing football for nice six year old. And how old are you now? Seven. Okay. Yeah. He has a lot of years in the biz. Bob. I know, right? <laughs> fresh, fresh. Yeah, he's, he's fresh. fresh. Yeah. Um, I, I want to ask you, what has it been like so far playing uh, with these other uh, teammates in the U10 team? Mm. Has it been good? Has it been hard? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Have you made a lot of friends? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I was told that you're one of the star players. What do you think makes uh, you a good player? Makes me a good player? Yeah. yeah. Why do you think you're so good? Because I learn a lot. Mm -hmm. mm. How, how did you get introduced to football? Who started you in football? Or where did you start to play football? My brother, like I started to play football, but he trained me a lot. Mm -hmm. Then he just make I get, get into Belize United. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your brother plays football? Your brother is older than you? 14. Oh, he's 14. Mm -hmm. And what team does he play for? For the same team. Okay, yeah. so you play for Belize United as well. What, what do you... Think, uh, what do you do? You think that you want to continue playing football as you get older, and how good do you want to get? Good, 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 good. But that that good, <laughs> that that really that good. that three good part. No, that four good. Good, 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 good. And oh. you and you, I think you are around the right people yeah. to get good, 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 good as you <laughs> want to be. Uh, Mr. Uh, back to you, Mr. Rowley. Uh, so the competition begins. This weekend, uh, there's 12, 14 teams. No, there is 12 teams. 12 okay. teams. 12 teams, six in the U10 category and six in the U. 
your okay. third team category. All right. In terms, in terms of availability for more teams, is that possible at this time? Um, that's the that's the that's the that's the goal that we wanted to uh -huh. to, to aim for this year. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. okay. And then as years go by, we can try to sell mm. because, like I mentioned earlier, just a while ago, you know, we we accepted the sponsorship that we have going mm. on mm -hmm. right now, but it will be a lot more. More. Easier. How long does the tournament run for? The tournament will run from eight weeks to to ten weeks. Wow. Okay. Yeah. What does it take to uh, carry a tournament uh, at this magnitude with this amount of teams for this extended period? It's a good question. A lot. I must say a lot as a, as from an organizi organization standpoint, an organizer, it's a lot. You know, if you if you're watching me a little bit mm -hmm. right now, I'm a, I'm really exhausted. Yeah. But you know, thanks to God that, that I could be here and be you know illustrating what what needs to be said to to promote the the competition. Mm -hmm. And I must add, I must add a little bit that um, Koshan been doing a good work with primarily. Belize United. We also have different coaches from like mm -hmm. different eras. Namely, we have Tot Bay, mm -hmm. Tot Bay United, with Mr. Ali, Mr. Ali Turner, all football players as well. We have, um, if you're familiar with the name, Mr. Kenny Morgan, mm -hmm. you know, he has um, Raiders Football Academy as well. We have Mr. Curtis Flores, who is for Future Football Club. And then we have um, Mr. Um, Mr. Nigel, who has just resumed surface back to the Little League from when it first started in 2017 of mm -hmm. um, that Ebony Lake era. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, you know, we can't get everybody on set here. You know, mm. we have, a, I have some kids out there who, who's from different, different clubs as well too, but it, our yeah. set is too small, but I'm just trying to mention the much yeah. that I can mention Ooh. about that. So in well. this tournament, which team is the team to beat? Well, you can't take your eye off the defending champs. Yeah. Okay. So they are the defending they champs the defending in this league champs. as well. They are the defending champs, and you have the the the, the, the second place of last year, Tot Bay United. Tot Bay United. Sorry. Okay. Tot mm -hmm. Bay United, who is also to look out. But my thing, you know, my thing is that you know I have always tried to portray that I want to let the younger guys be more focused. Yeah. More focused in this. You don't not necessar necessarily have to be the stars. Mm -hmm. You know, probably didn't have the opportunity. To, to play on your school football team. But, you know, you have that drive that you want to learn. So then the capabilities of the coaches, you know, giving them the exposure and things, mm -hmm. then this is the way for them. Now, Shay, you are in, what class are you in primary school at this time? Standard 5. Standard 5. Do you plan to continue playing uh, throughout your years? Yeah. Yeah, what, what is your vision or your goal for football? To try to make it pro. You want to make it pro? Do you have a do you have a goal for playing for the Belize national team? You're thinking beyond that? Yeah. Yeah, what, what team would you what team would you like ideally want to play for out there? Real Madrid. Mm. Big time. Mm. Big time. Yeah. And do you Ethan, do you want to be pro too? Yeah. What team do you want to play for? Uh, what's your favorite team? My favorite team are Man City. Man City. Oh, so I'm gonna leave beef. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna leave beef. You gotta leave <laughs> beef here. So let me give you both an opportunity to. Uh, is there like anybody you want to shout out? Anybody that you think is watching right now that you want to say hello or good morning to? Um, I'm pretty sure my mom is watching, and I want to shout out to her because like she raised me, helped me through like the times. Yeah. That I needed help, so. What's your mom's name? Nancy. Nancy, all right. Good morning, Miss Nancy. <laughs> you want and anybody you? want to shout out or say good morning to that's watching right My now? My dad. Your dad. Oh. Your, what's your dad's name? Albert Arias. All right. All right. Good morning, Mr. Albert. <laughs> all right. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by, yes, uh, for allowing us to learn a bit more about the Little League tournament and to also meet some of our uh, Little League members as well. All the best to each and every one of you gentlemen. I can hear the passion in all of their voices, mm -hmm. Paul, and I'm hoping that uh, both of these little individuals here, just like uh, all the others that you guys work with, Get an opportunity to make it pro, uh, or at least put Belize on the map. So all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Go ahead. Um, I'd like to thank um, some people that have, have played some significant role in our development at the 
at the Future Football Club level who is making this possible. Um, mm -hmm. Firstly, I'd like to, to thank um, Belize Bank, as Mr. Alaro and Miss Denise from Belize Bank. They have been along with our club from every step of the way. We have um, Digicel who have come board ship. Thanks, Mr. Mr. Tessicum. Shout out to you. Um, Belize Social Security Board. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have been, uh, been with us from all step of the way, all step of the way. And some small sponsor, I was in, um, I was in, a, in the U.S. of A, you know, miling with some of my old friends and things, mm -hmm. and I get little sponsorship here and there. So a shout out goes out to my old friend, um, Sylvian Lyons. Um, that's from Blue Lagoon. We have Clarence McKay, one of my old classmates as well. We have um, one of my old students, um, Dennis Peterson. And as to go on, I must put my sister, Philippa Cadle, who has been there all step along yeah. the way. And big up shout out goes to the Honorable Francis Fonseca. He has supported me all along the way. That's beyond politics, right? Yeah. So please don't take that the next way of or any things like that, you know. And the ongoing sponsorship, I, I just want you guys to continue supporting us. And whatever, whatever help is good, it's, 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 it's good for us, you know. Yeah. And Benny's, Benny's, there, you know, I ask that, you know, you don't have to help us financially. We have things that we need. Yeah. And, and they are, they are putting right out their, for, their forefront in there with us, you know, so yeah. forth. And so I shout, shout and kudos goes out to them. Wonderful. Right. Thank you very much. Well, thank you guys again so much for stopping by. We got to take a really quick break. And when we come back, the conversation will be about a woman entrepreneur, woman in small business. Stay with us. We'll be right back.